Hello, this is Adam with AbdoDesigns.com and we're here to finish up our tutorial on how to set up that character that we had brought in from Photoshop. Now one thing I did want to show you before we continued is if you're concerned of uh, it not looking at the best quality that you had set up when you had originally been in Photoshop, one thing you can go ahead and do is go into your library and uh, select the specific uh, images that you wanted to export or be compressed or not compressed rather and right click on there and look at their properties it's gonna bring up their properties panel and you want to make sure that your compression you go to compression set it to lossless and then hit OK and then when you preview your images it's gonna look really crisp and there's not gonna be any um, degradation that you can have when it's compressed as, into a JPEG okay so just to get a little bit further on, we were here, we are messing with the hood in the previous tutorial. We had just put this little flap of fur on there since it was actually a separate piece altogether, but still part of the, the hood as a, as a whole. Now I wanted to show you a little trick here. If I can go ahead and preview this movie, and you can see the fur is just stationary. Nothing is uh, moving or anything. But we have this scene where the wind is just blowing through. And you want this hood to look like it's flapping in the wind. And so when you're animating, it always has to be kind of flickering. And I'm going to show you a quick, cool way that you can use Flash to put that effect on there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go into my hood there. And there is this, this first frame that there, we're looking at, just this hood, just sitting there with no fur on it. In this second frame though, I'm going to set up a little quick animation that just keeps happening right here just when you're docked on this one frame. Now the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go into this top layer here. I'm going to call this the fur layer. All right. And I'm going to go into my library and I'm going to look for my fur. And I know that's under my head, so there's fur. I have two sets and you can see here when I click between the two of them, they look just a little bit different. So I'm going to pull that first fur set on there kind of get it lined up right where I want it to be. Now what I want to do is I want to create this into a specific kind of symbol. Now we're already in the hood symbol, okay? Now that's really important to see. We're, there's the main timeline, our hood. Now I'm going to create another timeline. I'm going to select just this graphic, hit F8, and this time I'm going to call it flapping fur. And what I want to do is take this type and I want to change it to a movie clip. Now what a movie clip is going to allow me to do is keep cycling through a whole bunch of different little animations that's whatever in this timeline. So for example, when I hit OK, you're going to see now we have this little movie clip. Now if I went and uh, I just looked at that one frame right now, it's going to just stick right there. It's going to look stationary. But if I go into this movie clip and I give it to some animation, you're going to see how the animation works out. I'm going to give it a few frames here, so hit F5 to give it a few frames. Now I want to go to this next frame, right click it, and insert a blank keyframe. And I'm going to put that second set of flapping fur in there, that B, all right, on this next frame. Now I'm going to give it a few more frames, right click, F5. Now if I go between those two frames, you notice that they're going to kind of flicker. I'm going to adjust this one so it's kind of sitting in a little bit better of a place. All right, now it looks like a nice flicker. If I hit enter there a few times, you can kind of see how that's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my hood and back into my scene. So here I am in my scene. I'm going to click on this hood graphic. Now, remember the first one was just the stationary fur. Now the second frame is that one we created where this fur here is a little timeline that flickers back and forth. So if I go in there, that's where we can look at that flicker happen. Now it's just in this little keyframe here that that's sitting. And then finally there's our third frame where it's the head, okay? Now back in the main scene, here's our hood. I select on it. Right now it's on the first frame, so I'll control enter. There is what it looks like sitting on the first frame. All right, let's set it on the second frame, see what this looks like. Okay. There we go. We got the flapping going because that little movie just keeps cycling on through. Now if we wanted to dock it on the third frame, the head is now turned towards the camera. So you can see the different states as you go through the different areas and how you could use that. Now you would set up all your different areas within your, uh, your graphic the same way. So example, this uh, flapping cape for example. If I go in there, I have a little keyframe already set up. So the first one is stationary, the second one I want to create an animation. So I'm going to go in here to my torso layer, find my first flap. 
I'm bring my flap in there and I'm gonna line it up. Okay, once I think it's lined up, I'm gonna hit F8. And again, we're making a movie clip because we want this movie clip to be cycling through this. So I'm gonna call this flapping coat. All right, make the movie clip. I'm gonna go into it and I am going to put my extra animation in there. So I want to put in three frames there, insert frame, insert blank keyframe. I'm gonna get my next flapping, flap B, pull that in there and line it up. Almost got it right on the dot there. Okay, and give it a few more frames. When I flap it, okay, there it is. There's the little flapping cape animation that we created in this timeline. So now back in the torso, you'll see that that little animation is just sitting right there on top of that cape. Or I can go with the first frame, which is just the stationary ca uh, cape. I keep calling it a cape. It's a coat. Jesus. All right. So I click on um, back into the scene. And now when I click on this torso, I want it to be on frame two. Make sure we're on the single frame there. And when we take a look at it, we got a flapping cape and the guy's looking at us. So as you can see, you can do different states within each of these things. Now the very last thing that you want to do before you get ready to animate your character is you want to go and you want to select the specific um, area that you want to start animating. If you wanted his head to turn around and stuff, you want to go to this um, modify manipulation tool on the right hand side. And you're going to start moving all your center points to the specific area you're going to want them to pivot. Now this is important. Put this in the center of mass. That's kind of the center clip here. So foot, put it up by this uh, ankle here. This foot up by this ankle. And you're going to have to go through everything. This back arm is going to probably be around here. Now I might have to hide my torso here. There we go. So I can see this leg. I'm just clicking on the specific uh, areas here that I have. This is the calf. Put the pivot point there. Put the pivot point the very end of this leg. Now the reason that we're going to do this on the very first frame is as we start putting keyframes throughout the rest of um, our timeline here, you're going to want these pivot points to already be set up because it's going to be wherever they are sitting on that first frame. And as you start making more and more keyframes, it's always going to be in the same place. So it looks like we got our character almost set up here. We've got this shoulder piece. Okay, and finally our hand here. Okay, let me show you the benefit to this. Let's say we were going to be moving our right arm. Let's go into our right arm. I'm going to select all three of those layers. Now, the very first thing you want to do is you'll see that there's the little pivot points that are kind of grayed out. Now, I selected three arms, so it's always going to give you a new rotation point that you have to put in there. But you can just go highlight it, put it over the arm. Now, when you rotate the arm, it's going to rotate just right on that pivot. The only other thing that you can do is if you go just to the hand layer now, when you rotate it, you're going to notice just the pivots there. Or if you wanted to select the hand and this uh, forearm, I'm going to hold shift, just get those two, move this rotator, and you're going to know right where that pivot point's supposed to be. Just drop it right on there. And now it's going to rotate in the right kind of order. So once you going to preview your animation you're going to see how nice it looks. Now you're going to see there's some little uh, areas here that kind of jut out. You'd have to fine tune those rotation points so that doesn't happen or maybe do some tricks of putting some paint over it to kind of cover it up when it happens. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something today. Uh, visit us at uh, abdodesign.com. My name is Adam and if uh, you want to request a tutorial go ahead and send me an email. Thanks. Peace.